When you receive your Mikkel pegs for your R1100 RT or R1150 or 1200 RT, actually any of the R11, 1150 or 1200, if you have access to the two forward mounting bolts, nothing down here to block the movement, this will fit. This is the one for the other side. You can see if we attached it here, it'd be backwards. So this is actually for the other side of the bike. There's recessed areas in the back and in the front. What you'll need in tool-wise is we use a small pair of vice grips to hold the valve cover together when we take out the two forward bolts. You'll need a 7 16 end wrench or, or box for the nut behind the cover, a scribe or an ice pick like that to get the rubber off of the bolt, and your driver from your tool kit to remove the bolts. If you use a pair of vice grips, grab a couple of the fins with the vice grip. and just a little pressure to hold them together so that when you take the two forward bolts out you don't have oil draining out the bottom. Doesn't take much to prevent the oil from leaking out. Pretend that this rear bolt is one of the front bolts. I'm going to show you how to get the rubber off of the bolt, the shoulder bolt. There's kind of a cone washer on there. It covers the rubber grommet if you just pull out on the bolt, that rubber washer under there will just, it'll expand and not want to come off very easily. So I pull the washer off and then just work that rubber with my fingernails and just kind of ease it out of the valve cover. The next job is a little more difficult. We need to get that rubber grommet over that shoulder and this is where the little tool like an ice pick comes in handy. Now if you're in the habit of stabbing yourself or cutting yourself you might want to mount this in a bench vise to work on it. Put the uh, scribe right through the washer or through the uh, rubber grommet up over the shoulder of the bolt and then we're just going to try and push on it and walk it right over that. And take your time here. You don't want to damage that washer. Um, some dealerships charge you about eight dollars a piece for these. So that's the biggest. That's the most difficult job. Just taking that off. Then you remove the washer. Our bracket is going to replace this. Then you're going to put the bolt through the bracket. That's why that's recessed. I'm going to put the rubber grommet back over the bolt. This is much easier. Just pull it right over it. And that fits rubber washer fits in the back machined edge of the bracket. That holds the bolt nice and straight. Helps with inserting it. Of course, it's not the right size. Lining it up, tighten it. Then you can take off the vice grips when you get those mounted. In the instructions, it says our bracket is a little bit thicker than the washer is. So when you tighten the bolt, don't go to a full five foot-pounds, something less than that, maybe four or three, just enough so you don't have oil leaking. And then we'll talk about preloading the spring a little bit later.